Hello everyone, welcome in my channel ESP.NET Core. Today I'm going to show you how to add a select list in a, in a grid columns or you can say in a table column. So just this is the simple thing you can do in ESP.NET Core. So just add uh, a uh, action method first of all. The action method name uh, is select list with record. So uh, that is related to the S records you can say. So this is the simple name um, you can take uh, like the S records and in which you can take uh, first of all retrieve uh, all the list of items and uh, if you want to add a select list in between the uh, list of records so just uh, uh, first of all bind uh, or you can say add a select uh, list uh, or you can say create a new select list and uh, with the loaded select list and uh, pass that loaded select list into the view back uh, uh, prop variable so this is the simple thing you can do uh, it's a very simple like uh, view back dot uh, user id i want to uh, add all the users in the drop down list so just uh, use users id and uh, and uh, return view that is only items not the view back so add a new select list like a new select list and select list loaded with the user manager dot users i mean to say that all users and uh, the data value field is related to the id and the value uh, and uh, the text property is related to the usernames so just you can take id as a uh, value of the field and the data uh, text field is related to the username so this is the simple thing you can take it so view bag uh, hold the all user uh, user IDs you can say uh, users you can say not user IDs and return only the items list of items so use scaffolding as a list uh, so list generate a tabular format or you can say the grid uh, uh, in ASP.NET Core and uh, after the after this you can changes in the view section uh, replace the code or you can say replace the razor syntax uh, with the um, uh, select list tag helpers L uh, like this uh, just change it with the select tag helper select and ASP items is bind with the view back object and view back properties ASP items view back dot uh, uh, name uh, name of the property that is user ID okay that is user id users id so just add it so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core and uh, i will uh, i will provide you a better video tutorial of uh, asp.net core and blazor thank you very much uh, for watching this video and don't forget please 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 subscribe my channel and uh, please like this video if you want so this is your output uh, here is application user in the form of uh, select list and after that uh, i will show you how to perform action during uh, tabular format thank you very much for watching this video